in the previous video we used double integration we used double integration to work out the volume of this tetrahedron um, in this video we are going to use triple integral so this is our DA uh, this thing here now is our DV so I, I have the right to use uh, DZ DY DX if I want to I can I have the right to use this or I can use this so long as I set up my integral properly so let's set up our integral our triple integral so um, I have the right to use DZ then DY then DX so uh, so when it comes to uh, DZ you know you've got to move uh, parallel to the Z direction uh, to the Z axis so um, imagine this surface in your mind picture this surface in your mind picture this this surface which is a diagonal plane so in your mind picture that plane well if, if you uh, decide to use um, DZ first then you've got to um, all you've got to move all parallel to the Z axis so um, so if, if you shoot up straight to the plane you start at Z equals zero and then you shoot straight up and then you stop at the plane uh, you start here and then you shoot up and then you stop at the plane so here you start here you shoot up and then you stop at the plane you shoot shoot straight up you stop at the plane and so on so everything here moves parallel to the Z axis so this means well if you if you want to move um, parallel to the Z axis first so you have to have Z equal something Z equal something well you start at Z equals zero and then you stop at Z equals the plane so that's this thing here so you stop at Z equals uh, equals the plane so this would be C the plane the equation of the plane was given to us as this hang on minus C Y over A um, so so that's done so now we have to look at um, dy so in terms of dy dy hang on in terms of dy you know you're going to move parallel to the uh, to the y-axis so this is your y-axis you're moving parallel to the y-axis so you start at here y equals 0 and then you stop at that line you start at um, uh, y equals 0 and then you stop at that line you so so you know you're going to move parallel to the um, to the y-axis this is the y-axis here so you move you're actually moving along like this so you start at uh, y equals 0 so so with dy it's going to be y equals something y equals something and then you know you start at y equals 0 and then you stop at the line y equals 0 and then you stop at the line but what is that line well that line there hang on let me draw it y x so um, so this is B and this is a here so the equation of that of this diagonal line is um, B which is the intercept minus the gradient B over a and then you stick an X in there so that's that's your your diagonal line and then uh, hang on, let, let me just tidy this up so that would be y equals B minus B over a X that's that's our line here okay and then uh, and then X well you're scanning from from X equals 0 to X equals a so you're hang on let me clear this up erase so you're so um, looking at this DX you uh, you're scanning you're scanning all the way through from X equals 0 which is here to X equals a so you're scanning all the way through like this you're scanning you're scanning from x equals 0 which is here and then uh, you you scan all the way through to x equals x equals a so you stop when you get to a so you stop when x equals a so uh, to work out the volume we need to evaluate this okay and something that I want to point out to you um, if you look at this here um, you're, you're dealing with uh, two variables x and y and then uh, the next one you're, you you lose one dimension if you like now you've lost a y and you're, you're just dealing with an x and then on the last one there is no variable it's just from two constants 
zero to a so just bear that in mind just to help you remember what's going on so hang on our volume is given by this thing here and I want you to uh, in your mind just realize that um, here for the first integral here you're dealing with X and Y and then the next integral you lose one variable hang on you lose one variable you're, you're just dealing with you're just dealing with X and then on the last one you lose another variable you're just dealing with two constants just to help you to remind uh, to remember what's going on okay so anyway our volume is given by this so now um, remember there's a one in here but we don't bother writing that one so uh, looking at the inner integral here integrate this with respect to Z so when you integrate the one it will just give you Z and then you're integrating from from 0 to this thing here you're integrating from 0 to this thing here so now we can put this thing here into the Z that will then give us that will then give us this thing here and then take away put 0 into here which will be take away 0 which is nothing so that will then take us to here uh, and then now hang on and then now um, looking at this integrate it with respect to y so when you integrate this with respect to y that will give you cy this thing here would give you this integrate this would then give you this uh, from 0 to this thing here from 0 to this thing here uh, and then now we can put this straight line this diagonal line into here that will then give us that will then give us this thing here and then put this diagonal line into here that will then give us this thing here and then put this diagonal line into here that will then give us this thing here so you've got your squared you've got your squared you've got your constant c c 2b 2b so that will then take us to um, to here uh, and then hang on and then now it's just a matter of tidying everything up so if you uh, if you square this if you square this it will then give you this whole thing here and then uh, if you multiply this out that will then give you this this times this will then give you this um, this times this over a that will then give you this and then this times this over a that will then give you this so it's just a matter of you tidying this up so now tidy this up um, uh, let me think uh, uh, this is exactly the same as this so that becomes two of the exactly the same and then uh, it's blah 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 and then that if you tidy that up it will then take you to um, to here it will then take you to here okay um, if, if you sit there and, and tidy everything up it will, should take you to to here and then uh, now integrate it with respect to X so um, when you integrate this with respect to X that will then give you this this X becomes X squared this becomes to the power of 3 and so on so integrate it it will then give you this uh, from 0 to a from 0 to a and then put the a into the X here that will then give you this and then put the a into here that will give you a squared put this into here a to the power of 3 and then if you tidy up it will give you a volume of exactly the same as in the previous video with double integration uh, oops okay and then uh, yeah so that's so um, so our volume is given by uh, our volume is given by ABC over 6